Paramahamsa Nityananda, a compelling spiritual force of our millennium, founder of an international socio-spiritual movement, pioneer of a modern Vedic Renaissance. Born in the sacred town of Tiruvannamalai, a yogi by birth, fearless spiritual explorer, beacon of divine power, Paramahamsa Nityananda is today an inspiration for millions on the path. Adept in ancient mystical yogic sciences, researcher of the science of spirituality, guru for enlightenment. Every year, Paramahamsa Nityananda shares with over one crore people worldwide the treasures of his wisdom, the joy of his laughter, and the incomparable power of his initiation. Now, Paramahamsa Nityananda speaks on Living Enlightenment, Solutions for Blissful Living. Join us for an unforgettable spiritual experience. One of the worst foolish engram humanity has got caught is the engram of acquiring and preserving. See, it's like there are 100 ants. They just go around and collect, collect, collect heaps of sugar. Suddenly they die. What is the use of Now the main bags of sugar are the heaps of sugar they collected and put in their bank. There is a huge bag of sugar, gunny bag sugar. All these ants go and pick up one by one and they bring it to their house, their bank balance. They may be having their own locker also and put all of them, lock it. In this very process itself, the poor fellow dies. Some of them may not have even eaten enough. No, 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 I have to preserve for rainy days. By not eating and preserving for rainy days, finally this fellow himself may not be there for a rainy day. By the time it rains, he is gone. One of the worst habit humanity is suffering got caught is with acquiring and preserving. Anyhow, this throbhava, throbhava means the covering the knowledge of people that after death all the memory is lost is mainly used to relieve people from this habit of acquiring and preserving. See, for example, if you have the memory, last time where you took birth, where were you? It's a big trouble. Then you will go back and ask for your bank balance. And you will start acquiring more and more and preserving so that when you come back, you can come and take it up. It would have become a, such a big mess. People asked me once, Swamiji, God creates, I understand. He preserves, protects, I understand. He destroys so that new beings can come, I understand. Why is he putting us in maya? Why is he making us forget? Understand, if you are not forgetting, what will happen? 
dangerous. If you are not forgetting, it is dangerous because you forget about your last janma in this janma, about this janma in the next janma. You accumulate and preserve less. Otherwise, this four or five terrorist fellows would have caught the whole world, acquired the whole world and preserved it in their name. Only they will come back, come back, come back and sit on it. Now, at least because of the forgetting, after death, the wealth is going to different hands. It is moving around, it is circulating, it is currency. Otherwise, you can't understand. Nir Yoga Kshemaha Atmavan. Even while you acquire and preserve, be liberated with this one truth. Acquiring and preserving is the most foolish act humanity is doing. Acquire and preserve it in your bank balance and be very clear, one day suddenly you will die like that ant. Just see, there is a huge gunny bag of rice or sugar, eternal supply, all these ants having their own small, small house and collecting, collecting, collecting and keeping all in their house. They may even do trading among themselves. You give two piece sugar, I will give two piece rice. Your whole Wall Street is nothing but this two piece sugar and two piece rice. Suddenly, some rain or shine, all the ants disappear, die. Over. Or you just walk on it, all of them disappear, die, their bank collapses, their Wall Street collapses. They may be visualizing that some of you walking with the shoes on their city and creating big, big movies. How you, we create movies? The dinosaur movies. What do you call? Jurassic Park. They also may visualize the human beings with big shoes will just crush our whole city. How their whole game is insignificant for you, understand. Same way only your whole game is insignificant for your higher self. But one thing, ants themselves cannot look higher than what they are doing. But human beings have a capacity to look higher than what they are doing. Ants themselves can't realize their whole Wall Street game is a foolish game. But human beings are hardwired to realize your whole Wall Street game is a foolish game. That is the one speciality human beings have. That is why I am saying, while you are having human body, don't miss this knowledge. Knowing, acquisition and preservation, acquiring and preserving is the ultimate foolishness. I wanted all our disciples to work on this. Enter this sacred secret in your book of art, acquiring and preserving. How it is foolish? Analyze, analyze, think, think. See how the society is trying its best to make acquiring and preserving as meaningful by not giving the medical care to all. See, why, why do you think medical care is not given for all in the western way of living? You are made to understand, hey, now it's all acquire and preserve. 
so that in the old age when you are sick you will be given a medical care depriving the basic necessities is the way humanity was exploited to believe the acquiring and preserving is an important habit the visionaries who created the concept of acquiring and preserving as a sacred as an important act as a necessity for the human beings by depriving many of the basic needs to human beings are conspirators of humanity not visionaries of humanity in indian medicinal system whether you are sick or not the village doctor is always paid he gets his share the moment harvesting is done if you are sick your harvesting will be less he will get paid less so he will ensure the whole village is healthy by the right preventive methods diet lifestyle and giving the right medicine which will not bring side effect in the beginning of the disease itself i feel at least in the future india should return to its original glory and all the basic needs should not be used as a blackmailing point for human beings to believe acquiring and preserving is a big thing in the life it should be done as a joyful creative expansion not as a basic blackmailing threat i do not know whether i will be able to make it or see this as a reality or not but i'll dare to dream i'll dare to dream at one day society will have a system where acquiring and preserving is not forced upon you and you are not blackmailed to believe that is a basic important thing necessary for life it is one of the great illusion if it is done as a expression of joy and creativity i am not against it but when it is done with a blackmailing unless you do it you will not have food you will not have shelter you will not have medical care you will not have support in the old age these are all blackmailing i tell you capitalism should not becoming blackmailing we will come up with non blackmailing capitalism i dare dream non blackmailing capitalism as a future india future bharat sit with this one sacred secret all acquiring and preserving is based on your insecurity and dependence understand it is a collective foolishness with which you are suffering these are all collective mental epidemics with which humanity is suffering even if you are acquiring and preserving be out of this mental epidemic by awareness and unclutching sit straight
contemplate on this one truth acquiring and preserving is one of the most foolish thing collective unconscious epidemic collective mental disorder even if you are forced to acquire and preserve in your life because of society let you be at least consciously be unclutched from it welcome to inner awakening the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience in just 21 days thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels visible anti aging healing of chronic diseases fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness what is the secret behind this transformation kundalini means the inner potential energy once it is awakened opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you i can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experience this extraordinary program is conducted personally by paramahamsa nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of nityananda dhyanapitam ashram open yourself to the benefits of nitya yoga and practical meditation experience physical and mental healing discover simple ways to handle life with success above all enjoy individual darshan and blessings from paramahamsa nityananda every day take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime